Hi everyone, my name is Rivka Rosenberg. Today I will teach you a lesson called School Subjects and the focus is on speaking. Let's begin. Can you understand your teacher's questions? Can you locate specific information in lists and isolate the information required? You will be able to do so by the end of this lesson. School Timetable. Today we will talk about the subjects you learn in school. And we will use Bart Simpson and the Simpsons. I'm sure you know the Simpsons. What subjects do you have in school? What subjects do you learn? We have English, we have math, or in Britain, in England, they say maths with an S, but Americans say math or mathematics, literature, Sifot, gym or physical education or PE, history and art. We also have science, geography, computers, music and drama. Some schools have other uh, subjects, but these are the main subjects. Let's look at them again. We have English, today we're learning English, math, literature, gym or physical education or PE, history and art. We have science like chemistry or physics. We have geography, computers or ICT, music and drama. What subjects do you like and why? Do you like art? Do you like computers or computer science? Do you like drama? How about English? Oh, English here has to be spelled with an capital E because it's a language. Geography, history, math or maths like in Britain, music, physical education, reading or literature, science or writing. What subject do you like and why? Discuss this with your friend. Ask your friend what subject do you like and your friend can answer and then you switch roles. What subject do you like and why? For example, I love music because I love playing musical instruments and I love art and I love geography and computers. Actually, I like all subjects. Talk about this topic with your friend and I'll be back very soon. I hope you had a chance to discuss these subjects with your friend and tell them, her or him, why you like a certain subject. For example, you can say, I like uh, literature because I love to read, or I like music because I play the piano, or I love geography because I like to travel. Let's continue. Can you try and guess these subjects from these pictures? What about this one? Can you guess this one? Of course, this is math. And the A, B, C, D? We know that. That's English. How about this? This is probably gym or physical education or PE. And this is art. This is music. This is photography. It looks like a photography subject. And this one here. What is this? I'm sure you know this. This is drama and science 
and this is either literature or history, and this is geography. So from all these icons, we can guess the subjects we learn in school. Now, we will talk about Bart Simpson now. Bart Simpson is sick, and he has a cold, cold u mekurar, so his voice is not so good, and he coughs, <coughs> and he sneezes, achoo. We will talk about Bart Simpson. What is the school subject that he can't say? When you have a cold, your voice is a little weird. Sometimes you have difficulty talking. So what is the school subject that he can't say? Read and guess. Click on the slide and check. So here we have... Yeah. Oh, Bart Simpson is sneezing. Here we have the school timetable. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we have here the times. We have 8.20, 9.15, 10.30, and 11.25. So, what's on Monday at 9.15? Let's look here. Monday, 9.15, we have English, of course, and also Friday at 8.20. Hmm, this is fun. The game of school timetable. So at Monday at 9.15 and Friday at 8.20, Bart has English. What's on... <laughs> up to... What's on Monday at 8.20? Let's look here. One day, Monday at 8.20 and on Wednesday at 10.30. So I'm sure you know this. Bart has, or we have... Math. Very good. Let's continue looking at Bart's school timetable. <laughs> What's on Tuesday and Thursday? So we have here Tuesday and Thursday at 8.20. Hmm, what is this? These books. These books, I think you know. Literature, of course. So Bart has literature, or in Hebrew it's sifrut. How about this? What's on Tuesday at 9.15 and on Thursday at 11.25? We have here gym, or another word for to say gym is physical education or PE. What's on Wednesday? Oh, the word at is missing here. Wednesday at 9.15. And on Friday at 11.25. Let's see here. We have, ooh, we see here a warrior. So I think you know that it's history, of course. Or in Hebrew, it's almost the same word as historia. What's, what's on Monday at 11.25? Let's see, Monday at 11.25. Ooh, it's one of my favorite subjects and on Friday at 9.15. Yep, we have art. <laughs> What's on Wednesday at 8.20 in the morning? And on Thursday at, uh, at 10.30. We have science. Science can either be uh, biology or physics or chemistry. <laughs> What's on Tuesday at 11.25? Let's see, Tuesday, 11.25. Oh, I see a computer. So we have computers. It's a computer class. And <laughs> what does Bart have on Friday at 10.30? Let's see, Friday, 10.30, fun, fun, fun subject. We have music. I love music. Now, look at the timetable and answer these questions. When do we have English? Can you say when Bart and his friends have English? English is Monday at 9.15 and Friday at 8.20. 
Very good. Monday at 9.15 and Friday at 8.20. Let's try, when do we have math? This is math. You see the, the plus, the minus, the multiplication. So Bart and his friends, they have math at 8.20 on Monday and Wednesday at 10.30. Monday at 8.20 and Wednesday at 10.30. That's when they have math. When do we have art? Here is art. So Monday at 11.25 and Friday at 9.15, right? Very good. Monday at 11.25 and on Friday at 9.15. Now when does Bart and his friends have literature? Sifrut. So I think this is literature. It's Tuesday at 8.20 and Thursday at 8.20, both mornings. So let's check. Tuesday and Thursday at 8.20. When does Bart and his friends have music? Here is music. So it's Friday at 10.30. Very good. When does Bart have computers? Tuesday at 11.25, you got it, very good. Tuesday at 11.25. Now I'd like you to complete a recording activity. What is your favorite day at school? Why is it your favorite day? And what are the subjects you study on that day? So I'd like you to record yourself either on TikTok or WhatsApp or Instagram and talk about what is your favorite day in school. So you can either say, Sunday is my favorite day because I have English. And I love reading English books. Why is it your favorite day? Because I have English. And what are the subjects you study on that day? So you can say on that day, I study English, math, uh, maybe geography and history. So. So good luck on this recording activity and I'll be back very soon.
I hope you had a chance to complete this recording activity. I wanted you to record about your favorite day at school, why is it your favorite day, and what are the subjects you study on that day. I wanted you to record your activity and share your recording with your friends, your family, and your teacher. Now go back to your recording, listen to it, and self-assess means ask yourself whether you can talk about your favorite subjects at school in English, yes, no, or not sure, and whether you can talk about your favorite day um, at school, your favorite subjects at school, and your favorite day at school, yes, no, or not sure. Now we will take a short break, but don't forget to come back after.
Welcome back. Before the break, we spoke about school subjects. Do you remember some of the school subjects we talked about? We talked about math, literature, history, art, um, what else, sciences, computers. These are different school subjects that you probably have. You probably have maybe additional ones, more, but these are the main ones. Then I wanted you to complete this recording activity. I wanted you to talk about your favorite day at school. Why is it your favorite day? And what are the subjects you study on that day? And then share your recording with your friends, your family, and your teacher. After the recording activity, I wanted you to complete this self-assessment table. Now, let's look at more school subjects. What is this? What do you think? Science, of course. How about this? Math. Or in Britain, they say maths with an S. What about this? English, of course. And this? Literature. This is Shakespeare. Literature. How about this? You're right, this is art. And this, gym. Physical. Physical education or gym. Or sometimes people say PE for physical education. Hmm, Mona Lisa. History. Or art also. If you talk about this painting, it's art. But if you talk about the Egyptians and the time that Mona Lisa was painted, so this is history. How about this? Mountains and the environment. Ge geography, of course. What about this? I'm sure we all know this subject in school. Me. Music. Do you play music? Do you play musical instrument? What about this? What subject is this? Compute. Computer technology, or simply you can say computers. What's your favorite subject and why? Can you discuss this with your partner, with your friend? What is your su favorite subject and why is it your favorite subject? Discuss with this with your friend and I'll be back very soon. I hope you had a chance to discuss this uh, question with your friend. What's your favorite subject and why? So you can say maybe, my favorite subject is art because I like to paint. My favorite subject is uh, geography because I like to travel all around the world and to learn about the different countries. Let's look at this. What subject is this? Is it music, science, or geography? Of course, this is music. How about this? English, gym, or art? Yes, this is gym. Very good. How about this? This woman is doing uh, a science experiment. So it's called sciences. Physics, biology, uh, this is science. How about this? All these books, of course, literature. And this one, science again. This is studying the insects. Now I'd like you to complete a, a video clip activity. 
make a short video clip. It doesn't have to be 30 seconds, it can be longer. What subjects are you good at? What subjects don't you like? And what subject would you like to study in school that you do not have right now? And why? So for example, these are several examples that you can say. You can say, what subjects are you good at? So you can say, I am good at music and English. What subjects don't you like? I don't like history because I can't remember many dates. What subjects would you like to study in school that you do not currently have and why? I would like to study photography to take pictures because I love to take pictures. And who is your favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher, you can say, is Rifki Rosenberg, that's me, because her lessons are fun. So this is an example of what you can record. Of course, you can use a different teacher. You don't have to use me. So this is a video clip activity. I would like you to make a video clip about what subjects are you good at? What subjects don't you like? What subject would you like to study in school that you do not currently right now have and why? Who is your favorite teacher and why? and record your uh, answers either on TikTok, WhatsApp, or Instagram so you can share your video clip after that with your friends, your family, and your teacher. I'll be back soon.
I hope you had a chance to complete this video clip activity. I wanted you to record a short video clip. It doesn't have to be 30 seconds, it could be a little longer. What subjects are you good at? What subjects don't you like at school? What subject would you like to study in school that you do not currently, right now, have and why? And who is your favorite teacher and why? I wanted you to record your answer and share your answers with your family, friends, and teacher. These are examples of what you could have written or talked about, sorry. What subjects are you good at? For example, I'm good at music and English. What subjects don't you like? You could have said maybe I don't like history or I don't like math. I don't like history because I can't remember many dates by heart. What subjects would you like to study in school that you do not currently, that means right now, have and why? I would like to study photography to take pictures because I love taking pictures. And who is your favorite teacher? You could have said me. My favorite teacher is Rifki Rosenberg because her lessons are fun and animated, for example. So, now go back to your recording, listen to your recording, and self-assess means ask yourself whether you can answer questions about school subjects in English. Yes, no, or not sure. Let's review what we did today. So, we talked about many, many, many school subjects. We talked about uh, music. We talked about uh, gym. Remember another name for gym? Physical education or PE. We talked about science. We talked about literature or English. We talked about science again, biology, geography. Uh, geography, biology or physics or chemistry, these are sciences. And we talked about art and we talked about computers, of course. These are the subjects that we talked about today. Let's look at the before the break. We talked about computers, of course, so computer technology. We talked about music. We talked about geography and history. Do you remember this? Physical education or gym. We talked about art and literature. This is Shakespeare, of course. We talked about English, math, or in Britain, as they say, maths with an S. We talked about science and all the different subjects that you learn in school. Perhaps you have more, maybe you have another language, and not only English, maybe you have French or Arabic, of course. So, science, remember these words, math, English, literature, art, gym or physical education, history, Ge geography, music, of course, Me. and technology, Compu computer technology or computers. Then we talked about your favorite subjects in school, and then we saw these pictures here, and then we recorded a video clip about the subjects you are good at, and the subjects you don't really like, and what subject you would like to learn that you don't right now have in school. I gave you several examples, and after the recording, you uh, self-assessed, self-tested yourself whether you can answer questions about school subjects in English. Now it's the end of the lesson, and by now you can understand teachers' questions, and you can locate to find information in LIST. You remember Bart's uh, school um, schedule? So you can find information in LIST and isolate, take out the information that you need. So thank you very much for watching my lesson today about school subjects. The focus was on speaking, and my name is Rivka Rosenberg, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.